Aries, my name is Kim and I'll do your reading for January 23rd and 24th. It's your Saturday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you very much. And we're going to begin by calling in divine white light to surround us as we do this reading. Surround you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. We're going to start off with the archetype deck from Kim Cran's Wild Unknown. We're going to see where that will lead us. Then we will draw some more oracle cards. And at the end, we will clarify by seeing where the tarot cards land on the oracles and what they mean. Like what kind of message can we get from that? So we're going to let the tarot cards speak, in other words. All right. Four Aries, four Aries, please. I'm gonna do two. Kinda has the same color schemes a little bit. The king and the lover. Let me look this up. So the king I believe is like the emperor card, which is you being in your authentic self if it's representing you. Um let's see. So, let me read from the book a little bit. This is the king, the ruler, the commander, or the emperor. Um, it just talks about how there's two sides to this king. You can be the benevolent leader, you know, leading for peace and honesty, using your wisdom for the good, or you can have um, decisions and ruling by corruption um, and a need to control oppressing the weak. So the king is just letting you know that even though you're at that position, you can still go both ways. You can still go positive or negative or black or white. All right, one of the king's relationships to divinity is broken or challenged. He often acts from a place of fear, scrambling to uphold his image and his power. Maybe somebody's worried too much about their image all right the lover the heart the beloved or the devoted connection expansion devotion and awe says the heart of the lover is pulsing with gratitude it's made up of unconditional love and let's see it says the lover card is in awe of what the world presents revealing in the glorious details grateful to savor every last drop of life's offerings being devoted appreciating um, feelings you get through sensing like song art music scent sensuality all right so we have you acting like yourself pretty much and then the lover so a hint of there is something around you that you're feeling at a really high level, if that makes sense, a high vibration, you can feel it. Um, it may be like the change, the shift that you feel, or it might be that you're changing and shifting because you feel this way towards somebody else who has either came in your life or been in your life. Or you could be dealing with the Gemini. So let's get some Let's get some spell casting cards and we will go from there. We'll see what else we can bring in. Okay, four Aries, please. All right, four Aries. What do we have? Four Aries. We will stop. We have strength at the bottom of the deck. I think it goes with it. Trust and have strength. Trust in yourself. Have strength and courage with your feelings, with what you are feeling right now. And you very well could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Leo, Gemini so far. So have strength, have courage. And it usually this card, the trust card, will come out if 
you have a question if somebody is trustful in your life, like if they can be trusted and the card indicates a yes. So I will add that. So we're gonna go here, then we're gonna draw some wisdom of the Oracle cards for you, Aries. Two, wisdom of the Oracle, two cards. Let's see. Orphaned. Peace. Hmm. <sighs> Let me look in the book. I know, I know peace, I'll say peace is already um, finding that inner peace. It's about finding peace when there's a chaotic world around you and everything's so busy, so stressed. And then orphaned is like not feeling like you're fitting in somewhere. It's a sense of loss maybe even an identity crisis and uncertain of what your place is in this world. And you know what? That could be from having these peaceful feelings. Maybe you don't feel like you fit in with the person who, the people who had been around you, your old friends, your old um, partners. Maybe there's something with that. It says that with this card, you may be feeling a sense of deep loss or confusion says you need to address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit and it's okay to let go of this pressure to not fit in so this is also about not uh, have peace with yourself stop comparing yourself to other people don't let um, other people's opinions um, what they say don't let that affect your day really at the end all that matters is your own thoughts and what they mean to you so they're very meaningful to you they shape your outside world so we can't have negative thoughts running through our head and expect things to change and that's one of the hardest parts about um if, if you're in this space of not feeling like you belong and comparing yourself to others you can say that you're going to quit but know that it takes time there is no quick fix for something that has gained momentum. So something that um, if you're comparing yourself to others a lot, if you're taking what other people say so seriously that you're not really thinking about yourself and what you think, that builds momentum. And we all have been, you know, pretty much I was living like that from child years on. So it built up a big momentum and it's just gonna take time, perseverance, and momentum going the other way towards um, feeling comfortable in your skin and it will come little by little it does come you just can't get can't give up i guess this card to me is about giving not giving up not not giving up but not giving up all right so let's get let's see let's do it like this then we'll pull some tarot cards and we'll see which ones they land on kind of what they're meaning i see the strength card again really another message about having strength or a leo all right aries 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 for aries what do we have all right so peace can come from spirit says an offer of love knight of cups is if it's talking about a person it could be a young adult cancer scorpio or pisces Aries, this is a gift of love to you in the form of um, a really emotional event, such as getting a new job, having a proposal, either business or relationship, or simply like offering your love to service and support other people that you consider friends or allies. Any way that we can give love or share love back and forth, that will bring you much peace. Sharing how you feel, sharing your love gives you peace. All right, let's see what else do we have. Oh, okay. All right, judgment came out on orphaned. Kind of gives me a pretty big um, indication of what this is about, so Judgment with the orphan card 
would be about forgiveness and I think it's about the self like not forgiving the self not realizing that that's the most important person to forgive so that we can let go of this negativity and resentments and it's also about second chances so judgment card is here maybe dealing with Sagittarius um, don't judge yourself harshly. Of course, that, that is the main message with that card for you. Let's see. Four Aries. All right, so up there, top left, the king and the lover. Well, we have the lover again. Wow, ten of pentacles and the magician. <sighs> Okay, so what you're doing, Aries, is you're blowing everybody else's reading out of the water. <laughs> okay, you have the magician. That's with the king. That means that you are in your authentic self and you're going to be aligned with that. When you're aligned with your higher self, then those dreams and desires that came from the heart, that complete stability, um, family togetherness, all of that stuff comes together. It's aligned. You're extremely powerful when you're acting like your authentic you. And then the lover's card, another a good decision, a good partnership is made with the lover's card. It's, it's just neat that you have them twice. So that's Gemini. This is big. This is being able to manifest that which you want. Stability, emotional happiness, happy family, good decisions. And it all looks like it started with an offer of love and it looks like something that you are doing or in the process. And that's why the trust came out. Wow, Aries, I'm stopping. I'm stopping because I like it. <laughs> I like it and I just want to go forward and allow you to have this wonderful time with these cards, these notions, these concepts. All right, what do we have tons of? We have mountain, major challenge to overcome, but you do overcome it. Whatever this challenge is, you need strength and you are overcoming it dragon. Beware of self delusion. That's what I was talking about with the orphan, not feeling like you've fit in your own skin, um, self-identity crisis. So stop comparing. The dragon says that, you know, when we're comparing too much, that can bring in a lot of self-delusion. Peacock, beware of great pride. Beware of great pride because when this stuff hits, yeah, you, <laughs> you probably will need to beware of that. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Have strength, have strength. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Tiger, doing something risky and taking a chance. I think that has to do with what you're manifesting. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or dark hair. Table, hard work ahead. Yeah, that, that does entail hard work, but you can do it. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. Maybe a Gemini. Who knows? Forest, muddled or unclear thinking. And I think that's that self-delusion. Beware of self-delusion. Beware of thinking that you can't act like yourself. Because you certainly can. And that's what will bring you the positive results. All right, Aries. Thank you for joining me. Sending much love and light out to you. Subscribe and watch the next uh, video. Thanks. Bye.